Now the first thing we need to do is create a touch event. That means if I touch the bubble, it should pop. So I'm going to right click on the layout and click on insert new object. I'm going to scroll a little bit down where I see input and I'm going to select the touch and then click insert. Now I'm ready to create events. I'm going to go to event sheet one. I'm going to click on add event. In my add event window, you'll see the objects that I see up here. I'm going to click on the touch object and click next. And I'm going to say on touched object. Click next. And I'm going to choose what have which object. I'm going to say SPR bubble and I'm clicking on done. So I created an event. That means if I touch the bubble, now I have to create an action. What should happen? Like if I click on the bubble or if I use a phone, I clicked on touch. If I touched the bubble, what should happen? So I'm going to click on add action and I want the bubble to destroy. So I'm going to select bubble and I want the bubble to destroy. I'm going to scroll down under miscellaneous and click on destroy. So I created an event on touched bubble and I want the bubble to destroy. So I'm going to go to layout, I'm going to click on run and I'm going to see if yes it does. So I'm going to click run and if I click on the bubble it pops. What I need to do is add some more events. Let's go to event sheet one. I want to create more objects of the bubble and I want to create random objects of the bubble. So I'm going to click on add event and I'm going to go to the system. I'm going to click next and I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to select every X seconds. and press next and I'm going to give the time interval as one second or I could give 1.5 it's your choice now for every one second in the system I want some action to happen I want to create the bubble object so I'm going to click on add action and I'm going to select system I'm going to click next and I'm going to select create object click next and I'm going to choose the object. My object is going to be SPR bubble. And I'm going to say that is at layer one because if you see that it's at layer one. And my X coordinate, I'm going to create a random number. And I'm going to say uh, starting with 40 to probably 800. You can play around with these numbers and see what uh, changes happen. I'm going to again type in random, double click on random and I'm going to give uh, some numbers. Probably this would be 854, 966 and press done. Now let's see if we have more uh, bubbles created. So we have more bubbles being created here.